Hey, it's Matt, and in this video, I'm going to be going through how the new COVID-19 response uh, pattern in the Microsoft HealthBot service applies to the Power Platform. I wanted to chat about this some because I've gotten a lot of questions around how these things work together, especially with the concept of power virtual agents, what we can do from a um, kind of a empowering the business standpoint in taking action with bots. So, you know, one of the first things that I've done is kind of gone through and understood what is that, you know, COVID-19 response um, kind of pattern that's in there and, and what is it actually doing behind the scenes? And it's going through a series of uh, kind of questions and sending people along a decision tree to be able to figure out, do they need to go see a provider right now? Um, should they continue to monitor the situation and so forth? And, you know, as somebody working with a lot of, you know, people both across IT as well as the business, um, you know, this, this pattern is great to be able to work with, but as far as how I might go extend this, you know, how do I physically take that action or how do I, how do I get this in place somewhere? Um, there's some details online of how to uh, drop this into Teams, uh, which is a, a good example there. But knowing what we can do with the Power Platform, I wanted to explore what else we can do here. Um, so what I did is I took the same pattern, the, the questions and answers, the response format that was going to be uh, part of this and kind of rebuilt that. It took me about half an hour to drop this into Power Virtual Agents using the same uh, kind of concept. I'll go back over here. Um, you can see the, the kind of decision flow format that it has. And here I've recreated that same decision flow uh, within Power Virtual Agents. It, it was uh, really pretty quick to be able to do, and I could save the outputs of some of those different questions much in the same way. So, you know, if you had contact and, um, you know, do you know, uh, you know, where have you been traveling to? Do you have any specific symptoms? And then, you know, the the output of that, you know, where we actually land, if we get down to this, is, um, you know, most of these uh, in the, the HealthBot service itself end with, you know, we'd like to talk with you as soon as possible, or, you know, you don't need to pro uh, meet with a provider right now, continue monitoring, and, um, uh, you know, some links to resources that are available. But then by using the same kind of uh, conversation flow within Power Virtual Agents, we're able to extend this further without having to write any code. So as an example, you know, we'd like to get in touch with you as soon as possible. The next question might be, how would you like to get in touch? Uh, and I've provided a few different options, chat with a nurse, have a nurse call me, or I want to call a nurse myself. Um, you know, for um, the the chat with a nurse, I might use the transfer to agent to be able to um, move that into a Dynamics 365 customer service chat uh, experience and provide the information that got them through this decision tree. So it's a, a nice warm handoff and includes all the, the chat history as part of it. Uh, for the having a nurse call me, I might uh, use that to be able to get a little more detail, you know, what name uh, is your preferred name, because we don't necessarily have someone who's a, a logged in, um, you know, person to a, a portal or something like that. Anybody could be going through a variety of different channels here. So I get a, a name and a phone number, and I use Power Automate to be able to create a follow-up phone call task as part of that, where I bring in the phone number, the name I just grabbed, as well as some of the, the details from this chat, and assign that to someone using Flow or Power Automate uh, behind the scenes as, as part of that. You know, and the, the list goes on here. You know, I could have, uh, you know, if they want to call themselves, I might provide an individual number or, you know, maybe some things about different numbers based on a region they're in, those sorts of things. But just being able to kind of take that uh, next step and, and drive some action easily 
Um, and then in using the Power Virtual Agents, we still have all of the same uh, channels, uh, or at least a, a large number of the channels that are available in the bot framework. Um, so I might you know, enable this for Teams, as uh, mentioned in some of the other things, or have it available through Facebook, Twilio, or a, a you know, wide variety of these, or just grab the code to be able to drop into a website as a, a little iframe addition in there, making it very rapid, very uh, straightforward to be able to not only create um, you know, this bot, but uh, drive that, uh, get it in front of people, uh, engage with them through the channels that uh, are relevant for them. And I think it would be uh, a miss to not at least show going through this bot. So let's, um, you know, go back over here and we'll go, um, I'll just say COVID because I know that's one of the um, items that I wanted to go ahead and track between topics. Uh, so COVID, and I had a variety of different um, kind of trigger words that were part of this. So, you know, should I see my doctor for coronavirus and so forth? And then it's going to, you know, pass me through some of the different questions here. Um, yes, that's my knowledge. And no. Yes, I have a little bit of a runny nose. It's still winter in Minnesota, but no shortness of breath. And here it's kind of, uh, you know, guiding me through some of these things. None of these actually apply to me. You know, so it's coming out. You know, mild symptoms don't require a visit to the provider and some additional uh, details for me here. Um, if instead I had gone through something where it required a, a direct follow-up, so I'll just say um, COVID again, and I'll just say no, yes, yes, and I could be picking any of these just for fun. Um, uh, I'll say yes, I'm experiencing those, and yes, I have shortness of breath, and that's one of the things that will trigger an immediate contact. So here, um, now, you know, what I want to do is I want to have that nurse call me. And it goes through here, you know, confirms that preferred name, Matt. And the phone number we should use is 555-1234 as part of that. Um, and in here, it's validating that um, I'm using the, the phone number type. Uh, as a response, so it recognized I didn't really provide enough information in there. So 952-555-1234. And that time it's going to work. Um, there we go. Uh, went and created that phone call task. Uh, here I should probably have some follow-up that says a uh, message of thanks for that. We've created a note for a nurse to follow up with you ASAP um, and so on and so forth. I might go from there to you know, end the conversation, have them take a customer service, uh, customer sat survey, something like that. Anyway, just trying to show how we can take that same um, you know, information that we have with the, the great and really quick response with the, um, you know, leveraging the HealthBot service and how can we start to harness the Power Platform much uh, with that same tool set. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ping me in uh, LinkedIn is where I'm going to be posting this and have a great day.